special day today because we will be making a zipper pouch. This zipper pouch, you'll see how easy it is to make a makeup bag. First, we're gonna gather our materials. We're gonna need the canvas fabric, a fabric scissor, a, rule, a grid ruler, a seam ripper, your zipper, um, the paints, the fabric paints we're gonna use, and our lining. Um, make sure to have a large cutting cutting surface where you can precisely measure and cut your lines. I'm gonna start creating the lines and the size that I want the zipper bag. You can make it any size you want. What I do is I take my zipper, I check what's the length of the zipper, and make the the width, the the size of the bag, and then the height, whichever height I want it to be. I decided to make it eight inches long and now I'm just going along and following and following the points you, where you want the corners to meet this way you can draw the lines so much more quicker to cut the fabric I strongly recommend using a a stainless steel ruler you do not want to use your rotary your rotary scissor you do not want to use your rotary scissor with the grid ruler because then it can get stuck or cut through the plastic of the scissor so a stainless steel ruler is perfect oh it's a rotary scissor but i find it helpful so there's two things i forgot to mention you also for your materials you need your sewing machine and a cutting mat so you can take your your canvas pattern and use this to cut your lining in order to have the same size if you want to make it let's say seven inches make sure to make it 7.5 inches so now the next step is and now once you have the fabric all cut up you can start to make your design today so i just and it's your design is up to you it's up to your own will you can make it anything you want i have decided to take the paint fabric and create a polka dot design and free for freely freely start drawing and making almost a wave design making it wavy curvy creating motion through the dots and the video is sped up i did speed up the video so this took me about maybe 40 minutes by the way in the materials i accidentally grabbed a, an invisible zipper and you do not want to use an invisible zipper what I am using is a coil zipper and after the polka dots I added in the white paint and stripes throughout and then press the two fabrics together in order to create the final result so next up is sewing the pieces together do you see how i am layering the fabrics this is a very important step where you where you layer the the lining and the main fabric to the zipper you don't want to mix the two and you want to make sure it's facing the right side not the wrong side or else you're gonna have the fabrics the wrong way and you don't want that so here's the steps first you layer the lining then you take your zipper place it on top of the lining on on the corners you want the front canvas to face the lining because this is the side that is going to be viewed once it's all sewn together the zipper that i have is longer than the actual measurement but that's okay you before top stitching the ironing helps helps the fabric lay flat top stitch about one fourth from the zipper major <laughs> it's like major alert you have to open the zipper if you don't open the zipper there's no way you can open the bag you have to make sure to to have the zipper open or else you're gonna have to seam rip the the fabric apart take the front canvas and you layer the two cam canvas sides together and the two linings together you want to make sure that the coil zipper is facing the lining when you're opening together and the two linings together and what you're doing now is sewing a rectangle 
In order to to turn turn around the zipper pouch, you have to make sure to leave an opening. And I am sewing. We are going to sew a seam allowance of 0.50. This is another thing. Once you reach the corners, and make sure to pivot. So lift your zipper zipper foot. Turn the fabric around to continue along the straight line. We're almost done. Next step is trimming. First cut the corners. This is something that I always do. And then normally I cut for the sides 0.25 of the one half that we left at the, as the seams. And grab your, you can grab the fabric from the inside out and pull it out. Your final results. In order to fully complete the zipper pouch, you want to close your opening. You do not want to leave that open, of course. So you just top stitch in the in the in the opening. In that area, in order to end it, tri trim out any excess treads check how durable it is and it's perfectly durable now you can place it back inside and you are completed there you go see gorgeous it's your turn to make it do you see how easy it is now you can make your own zipper pouch and it can carry anything you want it can carry makeup it can carry your makeup brushes pencils scissors anything pretty much in addition to the zipper pouch I have made other ones that you can find in my Etsy page and something that I want to share with you is this label that I have made for my zipper pouches the label has a QR code so if you were to purchase any of my zipper pouches you can carry the tutorial with you so if you wanted to show your friends how your zipper pouch was made you can show them the QR code scan it it will direct you to my channel where you can find the tutorial and follow along plus you have this this chain that i have added in the zipper pouch that is removable so you can add it to your keychain or any other chain where you can add this as a collectible even if, if you want i'm also sharing where i learned to make a zipper pouch so you could find it helpful for you to to learn learn along this is the zipper pouch <laughs> what do you want to see next just tell me right below in the comments and i would love to make a tutorial to show you how to make it <laughs>